Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we'll talk about something fairly controversial, AI art and whether or not it should be considered real art. My voice may sound a bit strange today because I am currently sick, so please ignore that and let's hop right in. Okay, so AI. If you've been near the art community or online in general, you've probably heard of different AI platforms such as ChatGPT or Midjourney. They have been around for a while, but recently, with new updates and a lot more media attention, it seems to be more concerning than ever. Personally, personally, I think AI could definitely be useful in medicine or coding, or something like that. But that's not what it's currently being used for, at least what I'm seeing. Literally, all it's going to be used for is art, creativity, writing, and cheating. Why? I've seen so many comments comparing these AI artists to things like someone ordering Grubhub and claiming they're a cut. I guess it's kind of alright to just use AI without it still funding the websites. It's even worse when these AI bros claim it to be real art and post it, sell it, and basically just using it like their own property. Especially when they turn around and comment on real artists' work that they don't need to have learned to draw because we have AI now. What? Like, I think we should just force all these people to go to a wellness retreat in California or the military at this point. They need to be grounded back to reality. And it's even worse when they claim AI to be beneficial because it allows people who don't know how to draw to create art. First of all, clicking create on a website is not making art. It's clicking a button on a website. That is undermining all the work actually disabled artists put into creating art anyways. Like that girl that painted her sister's pottery with her mouth. Or countless other people who actually had a roadblock in their lives and kept trying. Third of all, if you make art, you are an artist. I know, I know. Oh my god, Anna, that is so middle school art teacher of you. I don't care. It is true. Art doesn't have to be amazing or even good at all. It doesn't cost you anything to pick up a pencil and try your hardest to learn the skill. Because it is a skill that you have to learn. There's no cheats, there's no loopholes that you can take that will make actual art, which is the difference between AI art and real art. One of which you have to put effort and skill into, and the other thing you just skip forward. If you like play a video game and complete all the levels, that is not the same as skipping everything. It's not even the same as watching a YouTube tutorial on how to do it, that's like art tutorials. It's just skipping over the hard part and claiming to have won the prize at the end. When there is no prize because there is no game. If you try art and suck, use that to gain respect for actual artists, not as an excuse to steal their jobs and property. Look. I get that some people would say, so what, and continue using AI anyways. But something I think most people don't understand is just how AI is actively harming artists. Whether it's stealing their art, their intellectual property, or it's also mimicking it, using these artists as blueprints until it takes over the style and disregards the source material. Animators and video game designers will be replaced by their robot doppelgangers, and why would you commission someone when you could just take all of their art and pump out multiple drawings in their exact same style? Why, just why, are we using robots to take away our creative opportunities? It's supposed to be the complete opposite. Well, my art teacher in my mandatory painting class literally made us use AI to plan our mural, and I was so pissed. I had so many plans I created myself, and instead I had to use stolen fake pixels. There are very, very many videos addressing AI and the accusations that some companies like Tumblr and Adobe have gotten about selling out their artists' work, the artists that they rely on to keep their platforms consistent and up and running, that they've been dishing them out for AI, giving the artists that they rely on art to other AIs, actually some of their own AIs. Seems like everywhere you look, there's new AIs coming out. Whether it's Grammarly, Canva, and Bing, AI is just the new rage. 
because it seems like it's the future. I've seen so many people compare it to photographs, like how the invention of the photograph didn't get rid of art. It just expanded it into new ways, like the Impressionist. The way that it's being used right now and the way that it's being talked about is it's not. It's just not. I think that people are using AI art to try and replace art instead of trying to expand it. Which I think is wrong because the whole point of art is that it's art creation. It's the way that we express ourselves. But robots can't express themselves because they don't have anything to express. They don't have emotions, they don't have anything that they're trying to show. Sure, modern art may look dumb and sometimes I think it is dumb, but it definitely has more meaning than the most beautiful AI. People try and compare AI art to beginner art and say that AI art wins, but it can't because it's not real, if that makes sense. It's not created, it has no skill behind it, it has no thought behind it. It's words put through a program and that program takes hundreds of millions of images and shoves them all together to create a Frankenstein monster that we, our brains, have been programmed, quote unquote, to recognize as something. And a lot of people point out the little imperfections, like six fingers, but the way that when I look at it, it's kind of uncanny. It could look perfect, it could look like an amazing interpretation of an artwork that could be created in real life, but it wasn't. It wasn't created, it was, it just is, if that makes sense of. AI is taking over, and even though I'm not really planning to go into art in the future, it's pretty scary, even if you're not exactly the person art is, AI art is stealing from, I feel like it affects the entire art community. Also, I ended up only drawing the girl because I wanted my speed paint to be pretty short. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.